Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson. I'm so glad that you joined me today for the devotions in the Proverbs. Today's third Thursday, March 31st. Yesterday, we talked about the beautiful dyes that were made out of shanty worms that signified wealth. The beautiful red, rich red color. Today, in Proverbs 31, 22, we're still talking about women who are weaving and dyeing beautiful fabrics for their home and for their clothing and even to sell. But today we're talking about linen and the color of royalty, purple. The color of purple, or Tyrian purple, is a pigment made from the mucus of a species of murex snails. Production of Tyrian purple for use as a fabric dye became, began as early as 1200 BCE by the Phoenicians, and it was continued by the Greeks and the Romans until about 1453 with the fall of Constantinople. Proverbs 31 Verse 22, she makes covering, coverings for her bed. She's clothed in fine linen and purple. She makes clothing for her bed, and she is clothed in fine linen and purple. Imagine the time it took to make linen. Flax hedgerows fibers of the flax plant are dyed and then beaten and crushed and pulled through uh, halfles to separate the fibers that were too short to spin. After the linen was woven, the Tyrian purple was added for beautiful, vibrant colors. The shorter fibers that were left over were used to make burlap. Itchy, scratchy. Ugh. <laughs> As an activity, I wonder, do you have anything linen in your closet that you wear? Or perhaps linen napkins or tablecloths? Do you have anything that you're using that's burlap for decorations? Burlap has become very popular in home decor in the last few years. You see it in, in bows and around frames and, and uh, throws for the table. Um, all sorts of different things. If you just walk through a Hobby Lobby, you can see all an array of burlap things. You really don't see a lot of linen, though, do you? Linen is very costly because it is so labor-intense to grow and produce. As an action, I found a video that, that you can watch that shows how to make linen. And it gives you an insight as to why it is not cheap and easy to make linen from flax. So I found a video. It takes you from field to finished product. And I think you'll enjoy it. Go ahead and look up Making Linen from Flax. And I think you will enjoy watching it. It really gives gave me um, a different view of how our clothing is made how the things that we love that are in our home for decorations are made. Making linen from flax. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that your day is wonderful, and I hope that whatever you're wearing is soft and comfortable. Uh, linen usually isn't. God's blessings. I'll see you tomorrow.